Namaste. My name is Sui Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak the problem is our ego. Maybe our only problem was there. I was at many goals and then I see the people going to the uh, um, guru and expecting the next day in the meditation as Samadhi. Yes. And they still think the grace of the guru and they don't have to do the work and all these things, but this never can work out. Because we have a big ego in front of the true self are many layers of our ego and we cannot drop them instantly, totally, in one moment. We need for this years to meditate, to surrender. But the disciples want directly to be the goal and not, do, to, not to do their work. And this we see everywhere, in every area of our life. So, then we create a new ego even, in this case to, be, to make a humble show and so on, a devout show, and there's not, nothing behind it, it's just a show, and create a new ego that is even worse than our previous ego. And this is more a hindrance than our previous ego. This cannot work. But what is if we surrender? If we serve? But this our ego don't want either. So Anthony Robbins recommends against stage fear. This means if you want to speak in front of many people and you have fear to do so, just to serve, nothing more. If we focus our mind to serve instead to be great, awesome, to make a great show, and to serve the people in front of us selflessly. When our stage fear is done, and we have made a great speech, or we are a great help for other people. And this attitude just to serve, to serve God, the goal, the religion, regardless of what, is painful. But is the only way to get an ego that is not harmful or in the way what we want. If I want to paint a picture and picture myself as a great painter, then I'm distracted to make actually, actually this picture. And so just to learn the skills and to serve and to learn, to learn, to learn. Picasso was not from the uh, first moment at uh, Picasso. And this serving, this attitude to serve is the most important thing. And through so this we can get everything. 
So, but how to drop our ego directly? Have a good trick. If you are confronting the death, you drop your ego. Because you don't want in this situation anymore. You would do everything to get out of the situation. This is the old trick. There was a disciple going to a guru and said, how to surrender, how to become egoless. No? And the guru was a quite strong guy. <laughs> Grabbed this guy, put the, his head under the water. <laughs> and the, this disciple didn't like that and could not have enough air and was thinking that he could die. So he tried everything, but the guru was stronger. Kept his head under the water. And after one minute or so, then he said, yes, now you have the idea how to surrender and to drop the ego. And this urge we need. But we have this ego. Just drop it. Peace step by step. Step by step. There is not a shortcut. And learn to serve. Thank you that I could speak to you and bye.